afternoon. I am Isaac. And I am Deanna Lee. And, and this, this is, is the KS News. What's for lunch? For tomorrow's lunch, we will have chicken alfredo with breadstick and broccoli, baby carrot sliced peaches, and fruit snacks. Mr. Butcher will now announce the classes that had perfect attendance today. Classes with perfect attendance today. In kindergarten, Ms. Cooper, Ms. Donaldson, Ms. Harris, and Ms. Johnson. In first grade, Ms. Stevens and Ms. Wallace. In second grade, Ms. Bassett, Ms. Chandler, and Ms. Escover. In third grade, Ms. Piner. In fifth grade, Ms. Hester. Also, Ms. Haney, Dr. Mays, and Ms. Corley had perfect attendance. And Ms. Escover had perfect attendance every day this week. Congratulations to those classes with perfect attendance. Mr. Butcher will now announce the top lunchroom classes today. Tuesday we will start our three-point system in the cafeteria because we don't have school on Monday. So Tuesday we'll start it. You get three points for doing all your jobs with only one or reminder. You get two points if you do three of the four jobs with two or more reminders. And you get one point if you um, only do two of those jobs and it's as a class. So everyone's got to do it. You get zero points if anyone gets put to silent lunch or if the lights have to be turned on. Four jobs in the cafeteria. One. Eat your lunch. Two, talk quietly at your table. Three, stay in your seat. And four, clean up. Three, two, one, zero points. On Monday, on Tuesday, we start. Our mission at KES is to boldly create ready, respectful, and responsible citizens that will have a positive impact on society. Mr. Butcher will now share some examples of students being ready, respectful, and responsible. On Fridays, when we give examples of ready, respectful, and responsible students, we talk about our PBIS stars. We recognize people for being ready, being respectful, and being responsible. And so this week, our PBIS stars uh, for our ready, and ready means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. stuff very good. Is Andrew Komarevstev. And Andrew is in Miss Lee's class. And this is what Miss Lee said about Andrew. Oops, I dropped it. This is what Miss Lee said about Andrew. Andrew is such an awesome kid. He comes to school ready every day and is a shining example of a positive role model in class. He's already clipped up to pink five times this week, year. So, Andrew, for being our ready star of the week, always being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff, you get two dragon dollars. Where did my dragon dollars go? There we go. Two dragon dollars. I'm not being ready here. Two dragon dollars. You get your picture outside the cafeteria. You get your name on the marquee, and you get the blue ready band like I'm wearing today. So you guys have that. Thank you very much for being ready. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, responsible and responsible, I'm sorry, respectful. Respectful is um, a person that is treating others the way you want to be treated. And it comes from Miss Long's class and it's Gracie Gettings. And she is always doing her job and treating people the way that they're supposed to. So Grace, for giving, um, uh, blah, being the respectful star of the week, you get two dragon dollars. You are going to get your name on the marquee, and you will also get the picture outside the cafeteria. And for being our respectful star, you get the white band. So here you go. Oh, you got some fancy fingernails over there. That looks good. Thank you very much for being respectful and being our responsible star. And responsible means doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort. And our responsible star happens to be her birthday today. And it comes from Miss Peterson's class. And this is what Miss Peterson says She always does her job. She's always got a smile on her face, and she's always trying her best. So for being our, come on, step a little bit closer so you're not out of there. For being our responsible star of the week, you get two dragon dollars. You're going to get your picture outside the cafeteria. You're going to get your name on the marquee, and you get the gray responsible band. So yeah, congratulations. Yeah, that's a great band. Excellent. So you guys, thank you very much for being our PBS stars of the week. One of our goals this year is to have every student reading on our grade level. In order to do that, we need to make sure that every student is reading. That's right, because the best way to the best way to be a better reader is to read. And in order to read, you have to read. You have to have books, magazines, tablets, or something to read. 
So each day we are going to highlight someone in our school that has something to share about what they are reading. So here it is. On Friday, we're not going to share a book with you. We're just going to talk to you about the importance of reading. Take time each day over the weekend, and since we have an extension, to spend time reading. Find something you like. Read a magazine. Read a book. Find a book on your tablet. We have my on. You need to be reading. Talk to your parents. Have them read to you if you can't read really well. Read every night. It's really important. The best way to become a better reader and to reach your grade level is to read every single night. Now it is time for our joke of the day. Everyone. Yes. Why can't you let Elsa have a balloon? I don't know, Isaac. Why? But she'll let it go. <laughs> go ahead. My name is Deanna Lee, and today we are playing a game called Pictionary, and my partner is Miss Escover. Hi. The topic of the game is things you eat. And I'm going to draw the three different things that I eat, and Miss S. Gover will try to have to guess them. One minute. In one minute. Sorry. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, things that you eat, ready, go. Eggs. Very good, that's one. Ice cream. Broccoli. Yes, that's two. We got this. Let's go. Bananas. Pickles. Good. Peanuts. Yes, you got it. Woo! You got <laughs> All three. All right. So you get a you get an ice cream a free slushy and Miss uh, Escover gets a Chick Fil A ice cream. All Congratulations. right. Thank you. Good job. High five each other. Excellent job. Good job. That is all the announcements for today. Thank you for being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduation, you are boldly committed to student success. It is now time for the rest of our car riders to come to the gym. When you come to the gym, you need to walk on the right side of the hall and be silent. When you get to the gym, you need to sit at your grade level rows and be silent so you can hear your car called. If you are a bus rider, you need to pay attention to the announcements so that you can hear your bus being called. When your bus is called, please make sure that you go straight to your bus. Also. Make sure you walk on the right side and you are silent. Please make sure you pay.